name is Rute and I'm a medical doctor. In this episode, we're going to talk about some of the common abnormal vaginal discharge colors and some of the reasons why you might get that. If you haven't subscribed to our channel and you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you get all the latest information straight away. <laughs> normal vaginal discharge color we're going to look at is a whitish grayish vaginal discharge now this tends to be associated with bacterial vaginosis bv now bv is the commonest cause of abnormal vaginal discharge in women and the things that can predispose you or increase your risk of bv are things like washing the vagina with soap or washing the vagina with um, solutions like douching. And it's really important that you're aware of some of the risk factors so that you can help yourself prevent BV. Now, the thing about BV is that it is asymptomatic in about 50% of women. So a lot of people can have BV but don't know about it. So we can talk a little bit more detail about BV in another video. But a greyish vaginal discharge, which tends to be associated with a fishy smell can be a sign of bacterial vaginosis and the treatment for that is antibiotics so if you notice that you've got a grayish whitish vagina discharge then that is a sign that you may have bv or if you just notice that your vaginal discharge color is the same but you have this really strong fishy smell that could be a sign of bv as well another abnormal vagina discharge color that i'm going to look at is a white thick creamy cottage cheese like vaginal discharge color now a lot of people know about this so now this tends to be associated with a condition called thrush now thrush is an overgrowth of yeast in the vagina now we do have yeast in the vagina but when you have too much of that that can lead to thrush that similar to bv can be caused by things like washing the vagina with soaps or douching it tends to also be associated with other symptoms like itchiness around the vulva, so on the outside of the vagina. It feels quite sore or it's just uncomfortable when you sit, just like something's not right. That could be a sign of thrush. Now thrush can be treated with antifungals, so either tablets, pessaries or cream. Thrush is not a sexually transmitted infection and also doesn't tend to have a smell. Another abnormal vaginal discharge color is yellow, greenish or yellow or green vaginal discharge. Now these tend to be associated with sexually transmitted infections. The first one is trichomonas. This is the commonest non-viral sexually transmitted infection sti in the world it is really common and it tends to be associated with a yellowish greenish frothy vaginal discharge the thing to know about trichomonas vaginalis is that 50 percent of women are asymptomatic so not everybody gets those classic symptoms and some of the other symptoms might be pain when passing urine or irritation around the vagina so those might be signs of trichomonas vaginalis and this needs to be treated with antibiotics another cause of a yellow or green vaginal discharge color is gonorrhea gonorrhea is another sexually transmitted infection other symptoms of gonorrhea include things like increased vaginal discharge, so you're having a lot of vaginal discharge, you're having pain when you're passing urine, maybe pain when you're having sex, or pain in your pelvis, like pain in your lower abdomen. And it's really important to get checked because if gonorrhea is left untreated, it can cause things like pelvic inflammatory disease, which can lead to things like infertility. Gonorrhea is also treated with antibiotics. The other thing with gonorrhea is that 50% of women are asymptomatic, so no symptoms at all. So it's really important to try and prevent such infections. Now, another abnormal vaginal discharge color, depending when you get it, is a reddish, pinkish, brownish vaginal discharge, blood. Now, if you get this discharge, when you're pregnant, after sexual intercourse, 
in between your periods or after the menopause that is abnormal and it is important for you to go and seek medical advice straight away now i've talked about all the different colors and some of the common things that may be associated with it and one of the things that you may notice is a pattern now one of those patterns was that some of them 50 percent of women were asymptomatic that is a lot and therefore there is a lot that you can do yourself to try and prevent these infections and perhaps we can address some of these things that you can do in another video thank you so much for watching this video if you found it useful don't forget to share it subscribe and press the notification bell for more videos until next time bye bye for now